Welcome to YouTube's Excel Lookup Function Series number 11. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link and download the workbook Excel Lookup Function Series 1 to 15. Hey, in number 11, we are going to see something totally amazing, the match and index function together. Here's our setup. We have some income and some allowances, and the intersection of some income amount and some number of allowance is going to be our tax and we want to return that to this cell. We have our income listed here and our allowances listed here. We want to be able to change this to any input number for any customer and have the tax pop out here. Let's see how to do this using index and match. Now this is number 11 in the series. Uh, the, the prior couple of um, videos showed in great detail index and match, but here we're going to use them together. Ready? Equals index, and I'm actually going to see if I can make this a little bit bigger. There we go, that's a little bit better. Equals index, and now it wants the array, and then the row number, and the column number. Now the array is simple, I'm sim simply going to highlight without the labels for allowance and income. I'm simply going to highlight that table. That's what it wants. And then it wants the row and column. Now I could do this in my head, which we did in the last video, but I want to do it automatically. I want a function match to look at this cell and this cell and tell me the row and column. So I'm going to type comma. And now here's where I'm going to put my match. M-A-T-C-H, open parenthesis. The lookup value for the match is our income comma, the lookup array, I'm going to have to scroll over here, is going to be that. And this function match will found the ordinal position or, or relative position. So 250 will be right here, number 3, 1, 2, 3, which is what we need. So, so far we have that. And then match type, comma, I'm going to say 1, maybe because we want to find an approximate match just like VLOOKUP. Now, look at this. The index has the uh, table to look up the array, and then the row number. Now it needs the column number. So I'm going to do the same thing, equals match, open parentheses. I'm going to have to scroll over here a little bit and get my allowances, and then comma for the match because it wants the lookup. And now I have to highlight this range right here. And again, the match function will find the relative or ordinal position, 1, 2, 3, which is what we want because index will go 3 here, 3 here, and then find, I think it's right there, no, here. You'll find row 3 and column 3. So here's our function starting to emerge. I'm still in the middle of the second match to determine the column, so I'm going to type a comma. And here I want an exact match, so I'm going to type a 0. And then close parentheses. That is it. This is totally amazing. No matter what we type into our input cells, this thing will find our tax. Control Enter. Uh-oh, Excel is talking to me again. Now let's see if I can simply change this. I'm going to change this to 550, 555 I mean. Boom, did it work? Let's see, 555, it, uh, it would run into the biggest, match would run into the biggest value here and come back to this row. So it would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then 2 would be there, 3. So the intersection of 6 and 3, so 6th row, 3rd column, and sure enough it's 9. I'm going to click right here and do my... Um, a formula evaluator to see how Excel evaluates this. In 2007, you go to formulas, formula auditing, evaluate formula. In earlier versions, you go to the tools menu, formula evaluating. The keyboard shortcut that works in all of them is Alt T U F, Alt Tough. Alt off, and I'm going to watch Excel evaluate. Then I'm going to click evaluate. Notice it's looking at the match first. So it finds that 555, and then it's going to evaluate the rest of this. Oh, it's a 6. That's the 6th row. That's what we want. Then evaluate. You see it's looking at the match. Boop. And now it's going to look at the whole match, and it finds 3. No way. So it says the 6th row, 3rd column in this range. What is it going to be? 9 bucks. Oh, bummer. We have to pay 9 bucks tax. That is how to use the index and the match. All right. We'll see you next. Look up trick.